everybody, welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars, and we still have some guests with us today. Uh, this is Mr. Doyle on the end, and Fletch and I are the usuals. And Mr. Treat's here again, he's becoming a usual. Yep. So, still becoming. Still becoming, yes. He's uh, in training. But uh, Kevin and Cam were unable to make it today, so uh, the show must go on. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be doing <coughs> another local store pick. This one is uh, Hewling Station Single Barrel. And the cool thing about this is it's not it's not always easy wow, to does. find a eight year wrap that is pretty reasonable priced. True. Um, I mean, this is like $65 bottle for an eight year wrap. That's solid. Wow. That's really solid yeah. in my opinion. Um, single barrel, uh, like I said, Hewling Station. So. Um, aged eight years, has 52% corn, it's 44% rye, 4% malted barley. Uh, comes in at 112.53 proof. Ooh, nice. So, anyway, not, uh, I don't expect it to be crazy hot at 112, however. Should give a it's a good, rye, a, good a little bit of it's heat. It's a really high <coughs> rye mash bill, so I'm cool with it. Yes. Yep. Uh, Dark color. Like yeah. I said, this is a River Point uh, yeah, store nice. pick, so has a great color. It smells really good. Um, mm. I, this is our first time to try it. This was the very first bottle nice. from that barrel. So uh, we were uh, blessed enough from uh, River Point uh, Wine and Spirits to get the first one. So, Thanks, River Point. Yeah, pretty sure. happy about that. So uh, let's get let's into get it. Let's get into it, man. That smell, it's got a good nose on it. Super sweet. It does smell really sweet. It does have a good flavor. All right, so. The grass on the back end. Treat is kind of the can <clears throat> of the of the proof. So it's some things that are, you know, over a hundred proof are so. kind of outside of his wheelhouse. So off the nose, do you think it's pretty spicy? No. Do you think it's all right? I think it's good. Um, he has become a rye connoisseur. He's, he's chasing ryes and he's yep. the more, he's I drank, the more I got into rye. Boy, as far as yeah. and stuff. Rye's where it's at. It's yeah. so good. And that's the most We're, pain in the butt one to, to distill. And yeah. apparently that gums up the machines and everything and it's yeah. just really a big pain in the butt for ferment to get strained out of the low. Yeah, it's, yep. it's, but I'm glad they uh, do it. So that's, that's another reason why Rise are tend to be a little more pricey. Yeah. And you know, with this being a, a single barrel um, store pick, that usually plays into the price as well. So store picks are usually higher. But this is my first time to uh, deal with Healing Station, and um, yep. Mine too. I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> Got a good little sweet. bit of heat. Gets heat on, but like the initial wash over your tongue is just super sweet, like syrupy. And it's man, it's almost. Thick. Yeah, I mean it's almost just right. Yeah. I mean, you, it's, you can, it's not quite so thick that you can chew it, but I mean it's just the edges are getting pretty rounded out. Really coats your tongue. I mean it with a rye. You know, a lot of times they they tend to hit the back of the palate kind of harder than the rest of the palate, but this one seems like it starts in the middle and just and just goes all the way. I, that's it's really good. Yeah, I haven't had I this one it. before. Uh, usually they have tastings and stuff set up with one of their store picks. They didn't even have that done yet. So really? when I say this is the first bottle, I mean legit first bottle. So I'm a fan. Man, yeah, hats I really off, like it. Hats off to Riverport. Yeah. I mean you guys you guys picked it really well. Yeah. Knocking it out of the park. It's their their dry fly store pick that we done a couple of weeks ago. Man, they're doing some good things. Yeah. So Chase, Chase is a big uh, buddy. Chase that works over there. He's uh, he's a big proponent in uh, all these store picks, and he's knocking it out of the park for Man, he is. He's got a great palate. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Mm, that is good. Dream job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's pairing well with this Casa Cuba as well. Yeah, man, that's good. Casa Cuba. This is a Doble Quattro. That's it's it's bold. I mean, it's got there's 
I'm not left desiring any more out of this at all. No, there's no, no. Uh, nothing at all. What, what do you think? Is it out of your wheelhouse? Yeah, or? it's out. It's, yeah. The end is a little hot. That's not bad. But that's, that's what I, I like. I like the it's heat. the end. I like, so I like a good bit of heat. Breathe out. Mm -hmm. just kind of keep you yeah. 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 I, I <laughs> dig that. There's a lot that. of flavor with it too. With yeah. that, that heat. And that's the thing. The more you proof these down and thin them out, you yeah. lose so much flavor mm -hmm. and so much offering from the barrel. Did they say what they bottled it at? Like, or what they barreled it at? I, I don't know. Um, but with it being eight year, I mean, you've got the evaporation factor and all that. So, um, I, and I couldn't even, I don't know. I mean, it's going to lose a few proof points over time. You know, you would think, I, I don't know if they, um, what they, what they bottled it at or uh, barreled it at. I'm not sure. That's a good question though. I, I should have found that out, but I didn't. Damn it. Did one job. Well, I'll tell you what. It's good either way. So it True story. <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead and start the ratings. Um, you want to start off, Brucey? Oh, sure. Um, I'm going to give it a solid 3.5. The only reason it's not a 4 is because once that barrel's gone, it's gone. And if you miss out going to River Point and getting some, then you're going to cry because that stuff is absolutely amazing. I agree. You know, and some people don't think that we should knock off points because of availability. And to, to explain a little bit of why that factors into all of our readings. So it's not that we're picking on uh, one particular spirit versus another, but it factors into all of our ratings because it's kind of a way for us to make the um, distributors and everything, let them know, hey, there are people that want to taste all of the hard to find stuff as well, the allocated stuff. Mm -hmm. We want to do that too. And just because somebody has a store in a big city versus, you know, kind of around here, we're a smaller city in a sense, doesn't mean that we shouldn't have the opportunities to taste these uh, whiskeys as well. So um, most of the time they just kind of bypass the, the little guy or the mid-sized guy and they just, and I'll tell you, the the stores around here, um, they're, they're volume dealers. I mean, they sell some volume, mm -hmm. if nothing else, to to us and our group of buddies for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I just yeah, we're running out of room in the cabinet yeah, over there. It's kind of a dig to the to the distributors and stuff. You know, hey, let the, some of the smaller guys have a chance too. But uh, as far as I mean, any single barrel store pick. I mean, that's the way. It, that's the way it always is, though. It's availability is ava is what they have available, and that's it. I mean, there's no more. Actually, I'm going to go in a three seven five because the flavor is just that much that good to it's me. Good. It's good. It's it's really it's really bonus points for that flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really good a really good pick. No, I agree. I agree, Mr. Doyle. You want to go next? Yeah. Uh, so I was kind of agreeing with versus 37538. Um, just like, what it leaves you with is, you don't need anything else. I mean, it's just got the flavor. Like I said, it's got a little bit of after heat, but not bad. It's just, it doesn't linger. The heat is just, it doesn't strip your tongue, kind of like you get some of that yeah. stuff like you know, stag up here that kind of rips your teeth off. <laughs> uh, you got the heat, but you got a ton of flavor with it. It's rich, it's got a great mouthfeel. Uh, you still get a lot of the good uh, rye with it, um, but you got the sweetness of that corn. I agree. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's a very, very good rye. Yeah. Three, I, eight, three, nine. I, that's, just, that, again. you know, right that, on. the mixture that they did, the percentage yeah. of corn to rye and malted barley, man, that's right on the head. For yeah, me. as far as rye go, that's probably one of my top two or three that I've ever had. Yeah, um, yep. that is really good. Yeah, that's a that's great nice. store pick. You guys done awesome. You wanna go next? Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. You're gonna be the Kevin of this <laughs> yeah, show, so probably gonna let be. me go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give it a, a three seven five as well. I'm I'm not desiring any more from this. I think it's got a great offering. Um, I guess really the only desire I would have is that I had more bottles of it. But it's for, for, yeah. Well, for, for now, now, maybe, for now, maybe, for now. yeah. 
there. But it, it's great. Uh, 375 is, is very solid rating. Um, I, and it pairs great with cigar. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's working really well. Man, hats off to you guys. You've done a great that's job. A great yes. Southern Evening. An eight year, yeah. an eight year high ride mash bill, that's for 65 bucks. That's, that's insane. So, yeah, there's mine. Go ahead, Kevin. Simon Jr. Two and a half. Oh, damn it. If it wasn't for the flavor, it'd be one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that much of a kick on the end. I'm not saying it's a terrible drink, because it's not, but it, it's not my thing. Yeah. It's too, I, for me, it's too much on the end. Yeah. But like he said, it doesn't hang out forever in a day. Yeah. And it, it, to me, the, the way it dissipates on the palate, it's, it's almost just right. It, it doesn't hang out forever, but it also doesn't disappear too fast at the same time. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty middle of the road in, the, in that aspect. So I've been down for a couple minutes and I've had several pops on the cigar and I can still taste yeah. the rye and the caramel. And the yeah. Good. But it's not a bad linger. It's not like a burning linger no. or anything like that. I mean, as far as the heat goes, that a, that a higher rye mash bill, um, it leaves pretty quick. Man, that's great. You guys done a great job, River Point. Hats off to you. Absolutely. Chase is the man. So the cigar we're having to pair with this is uh, Casa Cuba. And which one did you say this was? This is the Doble Quattro. Okay. So they've named all of the uh, Casa Cuba line are named after uh, Domino's. Quattro, oh, Cinco. Pizza. Yeah. So pizza, this is pizza. a... <laughs> get out. <laughs> He's still got pizza in his mustache. That's why he's thinking about it. Um, this is a Ecuadorian Havana wrapper with uh, Dominican binder and long filler. Uh, Cuban seed, Dominican filler. Uh, this is a really, really fine, full body, full flavored, medium to full cigar. And it's really pairing well with this uh, rye here. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. I wasn't really sure how it was gonna roll. And I think it's, it would be hard pressed to find a better pairing, I think. It's a very complimentary, I agree. Another great cigar from the uh, Fuente line, man. Absolutely. And the thing about it is these are- I don't know make a bad cigar. These are, these are usually pretty easy to find. The price point, like 12, 13 bucks. So it's not an expensive cigar, but it's a very, very good cigar. The flavor's good. I mean, you can see the ash. It's well rolled. The uh, the Fuente guys don't put out bad quality stuff. No, they just don't. Well, that's the thing. If if, if it's not up to uh, Carlito standards, I mean, it will not leave that factory. And this is the last blend that that uh, Senior made, blended. So they're uh, very 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 solid cigars. Well, the idea blend that he came up with on his deathbed was the divine, divine inspiration. inspiration. Yeah. And if you can, those are not quite so easy to find. Those are unicorns. Those are unicorns. I'm going to tell you, if you get a chance to have that one, it's also Casa Cuba, but it's the Divine Inspiration. So that's a great cigar. Yeah, it's kind of a Lonsdale yeah, size, it's a smaller something ring like gauge. that. And uh, this, is a, this is basically a Robusto. It's a 54 ring gauge, so it's easy to smoke. And out of out of the Casa Cuba line, not counting the Divine Inspiration, uh, the Quattro is my my choice yeah, when it comes sure. to those. For sure. Um, so, do you have these downtown at 906? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if they're at Winston's as well. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. Well, so, well, when we've been there's been a little bit of trouble getting stuff lately, but right. uh, they're pretty much always there. Okay. So. Um, Fort Smith area, I mean, there's plenty for you guys to choose from. River Point is over off of Grand Avenue. Um, you've got Winston's for uh, Winston's Cigar and Pop Emporium, Pop Cigar Emporium. So you have that, go, they have a good size humidor, lots of different facings of cigars. Uh, they have flavored cigars as well, if that's what you're into, they're infused. Um, they have stuff, Pops, Pop Tobacco, they have Humidors, all kinds of accessories, humidification, I mean, you name it, they've got it for cigars and pops. Um, and then, Nightlife, go downtown to 906 on Garrison Avenue. 
Um, you can have, they got food, they have drinks, they have entertainment, they have cigars. I mean, it's, there's plenty for you to choose from if you're into this kind of stuff. Um, thank you to our guests for being on the show with us. We you appreciate something to say? that. Yeah, I was just going to say, man, Port oh. Smith is a hidden gem as far as cigars go. Yeah. Uh, whiskey's hard to get, but cigars with Winston's a 906. Yeah. You know, being in the military, you know, I travel around quite a bit, and I go to all the cigar shops anywhere I'm at or cigar lounges, and, you know, I'll ask them about something. They're like, oh, dude, we're not able to get that. And there's three or four boxes sitting on the shelf at Winston's. Yeah. Uh, all the ligas, everywhere, it's hard to get ligas, and there's always they, ligas there. They work really uh, hard, and, and they get open sex, you know? I mean, that's yeah. not really available yeah, at, open at a lot of places, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what a stellar state. Oh, yeah, man. That's probably my favorite of this. Yeah. It really yeah, is. It was amazing. Uh, that was probably my first experience with a, a cigar that was just like, like a life changing cigar. Like, this is what cigars can be. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree with you. That's probably, like I said, that's probably my favorite, and yeah. they're not easy to get at all. But yeah, no. Of man, it's just a hidden gem as far as if you like cigars or if you're in the area within a couple hours travel, man, it's worth the trip. For sure. So come see our friends at River Point, Winston's, and 906. Um, tell them we sent you. And uh, they're, they're really good people to get to know, down to earth, super friendly, and uh, help you any way they can with uh, cigar and spirit needs. So um, thank you to our guests for being on here. We appreciate you guys. Also, right. don't forget to like, comment. We like to hear your comments. Let us know we need to do something in particular. We're always down for suggestions. Definitely. Uh, write something down below. Let us know. If you like what we're doing, if you have suggestions, that's fine too. We may or may not take your suggestions and apply them, but we'll at least read them, I promise you. And we'll write back. We'll yeah. entertain them. Yes, so absolutely. Criticisms, welcome. Absolutely. That's, fine. that's all we have time for on this episode. We'll catch you on the next one.